Hello, this is Ben Fournier of Benevolent Side Quorum, and uh, the clip I edited the extra crispy sound that's barely audible, I guess, uh, to the end of the um, teleportation scene from Tomorrow War is probably, if something like that were to happen in reality, that's not going to be a wormhole, that's going to be an abattoir for reducing the population, as one puppet recently said. But, uh, anyway. Project Blue Beam and Predictive Programming. Alright, so for those unfamiliar, my understanding is Project Blue Beam would potentially be the usage of some kind of holograms or actual advanced aircraft to simulate an alien invasion. Like, uh, if anyone ever has seen the movie Stealth from 2005 with those, like, uh, uh, Project Aurora type aircraft, that would be something like that, maybe. Uh, but, or at least the UA UFO UAP side of it. Predictive programming is seeding thoughts into popular popular media, such as the movie Contagion, with regard to the thing I probably can't say, the Bug of Doom event, and variations upon that theme for the rest of the current crisis, or series of crisis, crises. Having recently watched The Tomorrow War as of, well, July 2021, uh, but, uh, and previously Edge of Tomorrow, it seems as though it might be predictive programming for Reagan's statements about how the world would come together facing an alien threat. I suppose there's ID4 also, but the first two movies seemed highly familiar at least, uh, both with weird mutant splice uh, bioengineered creatures as the actual threat and the whole notion of sending barely trained F6 troopers off to die in combat or during the jump for tomorrow's war tomorrow war's shoddy wormhole wormhole ordeal it would be unsurprising if something like that were done as a matter of eugenics similar to the lottery in outer worlds except conscription would be based on panels of snobs deciding who is unfit to survive the culling if there were some excuse for a wormhole teleportation to pre to be pretended real it would probably be the primary method of slaughter with everyone walking into a wall of plasma to get vaporized and everyone thinking they're traveling somewhere else well they're seeing their final destination at the very least it would be less likely for actual bioengineered monstrosities to be created in mass I mean you get people mostly believe what they see on TV from official sources so CGI would work well enough for most like War of the Worlds, the radio broadcasts when everyone trusted news anchors for a short time. Uh, and they got used to the notion of uh, the boy cried wolf, which, you know, this isn't my saying this will happen. This is just speculation. Like, if you see something like this happening, avoid it. Don't get to be drafted into that kind of program. It's not going to be protecting your country from aliens. It's going to be, uh, let's see where you rank on this system. Oh, you're good to go. Yeah, not so fun. So, like with the bioweapon eugenesis unleashed in 2019, that's what I think anyway. Uh, oh, probably, let me see here. Yeah, if they were to unleash monstrosities, it would be too difficult to control. They can't put it back for the Bug of Doom thing, if that was unleashed deliberately, but it's like, you know, each iteration of mutation decreases effectiveness to increase uh, infectivity, though. So, it turns into another common cold after a point. Uh, but, uh, they still have the cures to push. Yay for that. So, um, see, if you think they're safe, go for it. I, well, I'd rather you didn't go for it, but it's up to you. I'm no medical expert. I just see what I think is probable. I say it and probably will get punished for it eventually. But uh, yeah, I I do not trust that kind of stuff because I do not trust those in power who think it's uh, good to reduce the population to make it better for the future. Like those who love the environment and who would turn the world into a desert to protect it from life. It's like there is no environment without life. Good grief. Anyhow.
so it would be stupid for them to let real deadly creatures run amok. Stupid, but not totally improbable, as leadership is full of idiots generally. And, of course, they think they're superior life forms just because of their wealth and status, and yet they're just as dumb as anyone else, maybe with a little better training, but at, you know, most of them are going to be nepotism hires or selected candidates among friends and golfing buddies and crap like that, so it's like just insane how it goes. At, um, and they might just have done... And they might just have done it like they would have done Operation Northwoods. Would have had Operation Northwoods done if it wasn't declined by that president who was assassinated subsequently. Yes, yes, all this speculation sounds silly, I'm sure. But it's just conjecture of a possible scenario. One eugenicist and globalist would imagine they'd benefit from by so much ending of life and political reorganization and hoarding of power. So... Well, perhaps far out sounding. I mean, control freaks love power and snobs always love finding ways of looking down. And you have inheritance tax and all the other stuff that they'd benefit from too. But, uh, who knows. You know, it's just they'd be stealing from so many beneath them not realizing you know, they're cutting off a ton of their resources and workers that enable resources to be used but they think that automation is going to do anything other than break down constantly so uh, see how that goes anyway take care everyone and try not to go crazy